up, guys? This is a. They have no idea that like their day tomorrow is going to be <laughs> so disturbed. <laughs> I know, right? Little do you know. Yeah. Three thousand riders are going to no come by. Hey, what's up? Chaz here. We're in Steamboat, Colorado for Steamboat Gravel. Today, we're gonna hang out with Freddy Ovette. Freddy's a road racer. He's raced for BMC Racing. He's raced for Legion of LA. Now he races gravel. So make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and let's go see what makes Freddy Ovette faster. Here's my dude. Yo, what's up, buddy? Oh, what's going on? Just getting a hot dog. Hot dogs? See, this is this is a real pro move, this huh? This is a secret. Hot dogs. Hot dogs at 9 a.m. You're here, here first. That's what the pros read. What's your take on the UCI, like the European gravel scene? I think that's one of the things that really defines you as, as an athlete is that you're, you kind of have your foot in both the North American and the European gravel scene as well as the road scene. So like, yeah. how do you think they compare? Yours, U.S. versus European Yeah, gravel? I take a little pride actually that I'm one of, the, I think the very few athletes that regularly come to the U.S. Not just that, like, everyone has to do unbound, right? Yeah. You know, like, you have to do unbound. It's like, you know, it's like the Olympics for us. So you know, everyone's going to shop that from Europe. But like, I, you know, I, I come over to Steamboat. I did with Natasha oh, yeah. uh, a month ago. So I, I always come to the U.S. <coughs> three times a year because the U.S. is where gravel's at, let's be honest, you know? <coughs> Europe has a long way to go. But there's races like Tracker, in my opinion, that are really starting to knock on the door in terms of making a name big enough to, to make Hopefully, US athletes. The other side, the yeah. People start making the opposite. <clears throat> but outside of tracker, honestly, with the UCI stuff, I, 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 there's a long way to go. Yeah. There, there's, there's not a, there's not really much of a community uh, feel around those events. It's, it's still very road. Yeah. Uh, feel where you sort of show up the day before, no one says good day to each other. <clears throat> you you show up the start line and you race full gas for three, maybe four hours, which I, which for me is not long short, enough, right? <laughs> Talking about lead pillows, somebody who didn't have a result that they really wanted, and they felt really bad all day. And their coach asked him, if you had won and felt the way you felt, would it have been a victory for you? And they were like, no. Failure actually is a lot more relatable to, to, the, to the sort of general public. It sounds horrible. There's only one winner of a bike exactly. race. Exactly. You know, that like, it's, it's really hard to win these races or, or even podium or even be at the top 10. Yeah. You know, the level's so high and, you know, sometimes the, the race might not suit you, whatever. But like, you're out there and you, you're trying. Yeah. And that, that's all that matters that you like, you put yourself on the line and you got your head kicked in. But you know, like this is why it happened, and this is how I felt. Yep. And then, like the, I, I always when I like post about a race and I tell the story, I always get so many people like, like damn, we really appreciate it. It resonates like, way yeah. more than you being like, I won. <clears throat> yeah, it's like cool. Like that's not really relatable for a normal person. You know, not everyone can ride like Keegan. You know yeah. what he does, but but what, everyone can like try, yeah, try their best, and then have a story about it after. So it's, it's it's that's why that was so so dope because like. The races are so hard and so long yeah. that you're definitely going to have a story. You're, you're definitely going to have adversities. Guaranteed. You know, and that when you get back and go to the the pub at, at night and have a few beers with the boys and, and, and speak about yeah. that, that, that's that's why it's so cool. And if you can take that conversation online and let everyone in, yeah. it, they, they seem to really appreciate that and inspire, get inspired by it. More human. Yeah. More human, man. Yeah. Freddie, what's good? What's up with the bike, man? Dude, uh, this is my setup. My crux that I use for 80% of races, especially like the only bike that I would hop on if it's super rowdy is the Diverge. Yep. Um, but yeah, nine times out of 10, I'm running the Pathfinder Specialized Fat. Um, what size is this? This is like a big tire, man. 42. Okay. So okay. I'm, I'm, I'm a bigger is better sort of deal. And, and most contexts of life that, that uh, rings true. <laughs> yes, it does. Um, but yeah, I, I, I just would like to be comfortable and uh, I get, my, get my power. Yep. Get my power out if I need to. Um, on top of the 3 out of 3 Firecrest Classic um, with that white decal I love. Pops with the, with the S work, super nice. It stands out, it's almost like it's made to match. Yeah, dude. So, um, yeah, those are uh, every single race. This is a 3 out of 3 Firecrest. Yeah, it's, what, uh, what kind of pressure are you running? Um, I'm like just under 30 PSI. So like 28, 29, 30 at the back. Right. Will you change that depending on the race or is it usually you a pretty standard? You know what I do, I, I utilize the zip uh, calculator online. I love that. Um, and, and it usually uh, is bang on. So you can put your weight in, your bike weight, your uh, your actual weight as a, as a human. <laughs> and it, it bangs out the numbers and it's like, for someone like me who's not super into the tech, but enough to, to know that it's important, it's ideal. And I just use that. I use that for my road bike as well. Time pedals, man. Uh, I, I really like the mountain bike uh, setup because uh, it's just 
that I, I feel like I, I like that looseness. I know a lot of people will float. Yeah, I, I know, it's just it's so easy to clip in. Like I, I never have an issue uh, like looking down or anything. So in and out. Because sometimes um, you got to drop a foot. You never know a little traffic jam, some single track. Dude, you do. And and the road pedals, uh, you know, some other companies. That's a bit of a risk. You might not be able to get back in. And uh, if you're not if you're not getting back in, you're probably not going to get back to the front. So. We just ripped Cow Creek, did a little bit of road. Talked about transitioning from road bikes to gravel bikes and everything in between with Freddie. This is Chaz and Freddie making you faster. Oh wait, I forgot. You have to like and subscribe. Like whatever those buttons are, hit those too, right Freddie? Dude, follow me on Instagram as well. Oh yeah, follow Freddie. Freddie Push Ovid. those numbers up, baby. Push the numbers, you heard it here first. Take it easy guys.